Welcome to the Elite Files, where matchups aren't the same and DDD can win all games. That's right, DDD eviscerates all Elite Smash Snakes. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. I, the DDD player, can play like an absolute moronic buffoon and still get away with the W. Speaking as a buffoon, I must say that fair was displeasing. I don't give a crap about your C4. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing stops this buffoonery machine. Not an explosions, not throws, it doesn't matter how many grabs you whiff. I am the buffoon. Out of generosity, I donated a stock to the snake, otherwise he would have never gotten one on his own. Simply could have lived to 300, maybe 450,000 percent in a single game. It's simply unfair. And now we observe the arch of the penguin. Up until this moment, for protection of your own eyes, the buffoon machine has only been operating at half capacity and will continue to do so until roughly the five minute mark. That's right, your eyes need a slow adjusting to the ramping up of the buffoon machine or they could potentially explode out of your skull. This is how DDD is able to win all matchups, as the buffoon machine ramps up and the other person's eyes pop out of their head. Try as this snake might, he's already committed one fatal flaw, not recognizing that this game absolutely rewards buffoon machines and not legit play. That's right. The more I increase my buffoonery, the more the game quite simply cheats in my favor. Sustained buffoonery such as what you are witnessing requires not only eating explosives but whole persons. With the C4 welded to the stage, the game cheats in my favor, offering Snake no recovery. The dance and teabag of the buffoon excites his opponent, and therefore causes many mistakes to be made. This is part of the buffoonery gameplay. You frustrated me win. This sustains one of the oldest known theories to man, sad plus bad equals mad. Now that the buffoon machine has made Snake good and mad, I can capitalize fully on the previous equation and pretty much do anything I want like I have been all along. One, go. This snake opted to stay and fight the buffoon machine, something we should all commend them for, as the buffoon machine, as previously stated in the last part, equals mad. Now that the safety of your eyes has been taken into consideration through the previous warming up of buffoonery, I can start the buffoonery full force. DDD says, it simply doesn't matter how I play, this is my buffoon show and you're all in it. If you don't have at least 10 straight seconds of swinging at nothing but the open air, how much of a buffoon are you really? That's right, it's 1-800 down throw bear exists. 1-800 down throw bear exists. That's right, it's 1-800 down throw bear exists. It's a perfect combo on frame 4 air dodgers. It'll do your taxes, it'll give you life insurance, but it won't let you hit this magnificent shield break punish. You know why? Because down throw bear exists. That's right, call 1-800 now for you to do a frame perfect combo on frame 4 air dodgers now. Down throw bear, down, down, down throw bear. I'm glad that that snake hit the tech. It allows me continue this game. It allows the buffoon machine not to end right away. Buffoon. I 
I literally hate coming up with an ending thing to say in a video, so I'm just gonna say some bullshit that makes no sense. Hibbidi beep boop a dot. That's right, I never stop. I'm the buffoon machine and you're not. And you can't get any more than that. Turd. <laughs>